Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today uh, we are finally going to show you a full apartment tour of our new home. We're so excited. Everything has aligned so that I can finally do this tour for you. Um, if you're new to our channel, we are a family of seven, myself, my husband and five children. And we live in a three bedroom apartment by the seaside and we are minimalists. So if you guys are interested in seeing how we do things, check it out. So when you come into our house, this is our little entryway. So we get the kids to pop up their school bags up there and then we unpack them and get everything out. And that just works so well for us because in, and in the evening, if I've got to pack their bags or if they need something for the next day, I can put it straight in. If you have seen our garage organization video, which I'll link here, um, you'll know that we keep our shoes downstairs so that no shoes come upstairs, which makes it heaps easier to keep the floors clean and that sort of thing. And we don't have shoes everywhere at the doorway. So it's all open in this area. And then that opens out onto our lounge area. So this is my absolute favorite part of the house. I adore it. I adore to look out to the view. Um, just over the trees, there is a beautiful beach. We see whales and dolphins. It's just, it's magical. And this is where like the heart of our home is. We play games here. The children bring their toys out and play out here a lot of the time. We have dance parties. It's just, we have friends and family over regularly. So that has been, it's just such a great open space. Um, my husband and I are not against TV in any way. In fact, we are huge TV and movie lovers in this house, but we just decided that we wanted to try not having a TV in the center family room of our home, just so that we could be more intentional with when we watch it. And it has been so good. And you'll see where our TV is later, but we've just absolutely loved having this open house. I'm so sorry guys, this little boy is not very well today. He's just waking up from a nap, but that ain't gonna stop us. So over here we have um, pegs for if I need to hang stuff out. Um, our home pod, which is great because we love music. I play podcasts, I can listen to the news, we play music all the time, so that's fantastic. This is all our internet stuff. This box here I keep for homework and library books, so home readers, books from the school library, books from our local library if we have that, and then it's all there. I just pull it out when it's homework time and everyone's things are there. It's super easy and it keeps everything together. This box down the bottom is just hiding all of our cords because somebody likes to switch things on and off. And then there is my robot vacuum down there, which I absolutely love. And I'll show you in a clean with me video how I use my robot all the time. This is our uh, NAS. It's for all of our storing of our videos and photos and things like that. Moving into the kitchen, this home is built in the 1970s. It's a rental, so we do not own it. Um, so we just have to love it and work with it as it is, which we do. And um, everything is pretty much original to its 70s glory. I've got a really small fridge this time, and I have a freezer downstairs in our garage, which uh, is brilliant, I love it. It's a chest freezer. So if this is working so well, we shop once a week, we get a lot of produce because we eat plant-based and I just find that there's very little waste because I've got a small fridge, I can see everything, everything gets eaten every week and then we just replenish what we need. Um, I try and keep the benches as clear as possible. This is just where we keep like a, a charging station. Um, a lot of these cupboards, because we have tons and tons of covered space. A lot of them are empty because I just, I don't need them, but um, it's handy because I can have a dedicated um, lunchbox cabinet. This has as a dishwasher, but we actually don't use it. I just find it so much easier to just wash as I go. I just wash the dishes, dry them and put them away. Or if I don't have a chance to dry them, they just sit there till I can get to them. 
Um, because we don't have a huge amount of dishes, this means that I always have dishes clean, ready to go, and I don't have to wait till the end of the day for everything to be washed. So, as well as being our entryway, this is actually also our dining room, homework station, Lego playing station, all of those things. So when we were thinking about what dining table we wanted, I really wanted a long thin dining table that we could push up against the wall when we wanted to use it as a homework station or for play or for coloring or whatever. And then when we were ready to eat, we could simply pull it out from the wall. We can fit easily 10 people around this table, no problem. Everyone has plenty of room and it's so easy to push in and out. Um, we bought some white stools and light, these light plastic chairs. We actually just have the stools out at the moment because my one year old can climb up on the chairs and then he pushes them to things that he wants to get into. So for now we're just using the stools but we um, keep them tucked away underneath the table when we're not using them and then this space is really open and the kids can use it for whatever they want if they're doing things on the laptops or anything like that it, it is one of the best things I did because it's so versatile it's just great so up here I keep my planner which I use more like a to-do book, what, what I want to do in the day. I also plan all of my meals out there and I also keep any ongoing paperwork that I'm using. So like notes for school that haven't happened, invitations I keep on the, for the day that they're on. And then I don't love it here, but it, it's so convenient to have it here that I just sometimes convenience trumps looks. And so I'm a busy mum, and this works for me. Um, in here, I just keep coasters. These are marble coasters um, and I can't leave them out, but I'd like to have them handy. And then I've also got somewhere if I just, if I need to keep something out for a time, I can just hide it away in there. So this is our hallway and off the hallway, we have these uh, linen closets and one of them is like a broom closet, which we keep our steam mop and our normal broom in there. This is our toilet. We have one toilet, which sometimes is an issue, but mostly it's fine. And then off that, we have our laundry. So this is like a laundry cupboard, and this is our hot water system. This belongs to the rental. Otherwise, I would not have it there because I have a washer dryer so I actually never use this but um, if you have any questions about washer dryers I'm a huge fan I absolutely love it it was the best thing I ever bought and then this rack up here is where I hang all of our hanging clothes I get them straight out use the coat hangers here and hang them up because our hot water system is in here and there's a vent up there it, this room stays really quite warm and it's we also live in the tropics so it's always warm and so all the clothes that are hanging dry really quickly so then you come through here it's a little bit crowded and you're gonna have more fantastic 70s decor in here so this is our very small bathroom but we have it has a bath and a shower and like a small vanity um, I try and keep it as minimalist as possible in here, but there are seven people who use one bathroom. Um, and I can't use the bottom cupboard space at the moment because I have a one year old. So um, I just use this little basket and that has all of the toiletries that we use on a daily basis and a few things as minimal as possible that we leave out. And then we just have our toothbrushes and things in there. So it's small. It's a little outdated, but we keep it clean. It's really, it honestly, I thought it was gonna be a much bigger issue than it is. It's, it, it works really well. This is our girls' bedroom. So our three girls are in here. We actually refer to this as the kids' room because it's where we keep all the toys. They have an iMac in here, so they occasionally watch movies, they listen to audiobooks, they have music in here, so that's all there for them. 
um, so they all use it really. Uh, we have a triple bunk, so one bunk on the top and a double on the bottom. And we actually have the option of putting in a trundle later, um, but at the moment my two little girls actually prefer to sleep next to each other, so we just embrace it. Um, in these, all of these, if you have questions, this is basically our toy storage. It's where all the toys are kept in our house. If you want to see exactly what's in there, I've actually already done a video about how I handle toys and what's in every box. So um, I'll link that below if you're interested. Their cupboards are pretty much empty. They just have the chairs that we're not currently using from the dining table in there and um, a spare mattress. So um, I just have these two little hangers here so that if I'm setting out clothes for church or today it was for their book parade at school, that sort of thing, I can have it all set up in here for them. And yeah, we, they love it. They, they don't mind to share. They like to be together and we just find that this is working really well for them. So this is the master bedroom. It's my husband and my bedroom. Um, we have all of the clothes for our whole family in these closets. If you're interested in seeing that, I've done a video on how we do a family closet. It works so well. I absolutely love it. It makes putting away clothes so easy. Um, it's just, it's for right now with little children, it's super convenient. So as you can see, we have our TV in here. Um, I know that probably is not the way for some people, but for us, it's just made us that much more intentional with our TV use. This room is huge. Um, and so if we're gonna have a family movie night, we just pull a mattress in here. The kids bring their sleeping bags. So they can come in and watch things. We can watch things at night without, you know, bothering them. And yeah, we just absolutely love it. It's been so functional. So we don't have any bedside tables because we just don't need them. We put all of our stuff in our charging box at night or my husband's go in his office. So we just, we don't have anything to put on the bedside table. And so we didn't bother. In these boxes down here, um, I keep, in this one, I keep all the nappies and wipes and things like that. This box is where we keep our charging box so the kids, all the kids' devices, our devices go in there at night, we know where they are. That is working, that works really well for us. And this box is colouring things, so it's got colour pencils, books, paper, all crafty things that the kids use all the time. And in here is a few um, woolen jackets and jumpers that I don't want to hang up just because they'll get stretched out and so I just keep them in there but basically the purpose of those boxes is to cover all the cord mess behind it. So this is our third and final bedroom and it's my husband's office and my oldest son sleeps in here as well. Um, my husband works from home if this is your first time watching so Basically, this is all of his work stuff. Um, we also have a PlayStation that we use intermittently, the kids play, and we have a, a vintage Super Nintendo, which we all love to get on, and the kids can play on these screens when Daddy's not working. This is a futon, and our older son sleeps on that. Um, we have like a mattress topper that we put on so that it's nice and flat and smooth for him. And then we can sit it up when he's not here because they spend time at their mum's house and with us. So when he's here, we set it up as a bed and he loves it. He often converts it back to a couch to play games and that sort of thing or to chill out in here. But it's super easy both ways. We just fold all the stuff up and put it in the bottom of the closet when he's not using it and when he's using it obviously we just make it up like a bed whatever he wants to do he has some sentimental items which are in the cupboard at the moment and i think maybe he might like them on a shelf or in some sort of maybe a nice chest or something and i'll ask him about that soon but we've been looking and tossing up ideas but one of the things that we have personally found is that it's okay to sit with a space and feel it out to see what you want to put there. That if you sort of rush into buying something, it 
can sometimes you find, oh, I, I wish I'd waited and I would have got something that would have had two purposes or I wouldn't have bothered, that sort of thing. So, and um, out of all of our kids, he's probably the most minimal. He doesn't, he doesn't want for things and, and things like that. So he really likes clear space, clear head, all of that jazz. So he really enjoys it um, and it's worked really well for us. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this little tour of our house um, and it gave you some maybe some ideas or inspiration if you're thinking about minimalizing or if you've got a large family and trying to work that out. I personally don't believe that there's one right way to do minimalism. It's just if simplifying your life and living with just the things you love sounds good to you, then whatever that looks like for you is perfect. So if you have any questions about anything, um, like what's in our cupboards or what's in our kitchen, um, I'm most happy to do a video on that. Just leave me a, a comment down below and I'll see you in the next one.